James, a lawyer representing families who lost loved ones due to a COVID outbreak, says a lawsuit is now moving forward in Illinois State Court after two years of delays. Back in November 2020, 36 people died after a COVID outbreak at the LaSalle Veterans Home. Tonight, Jenna Webster explains why one granddaughter still is fighting for her grandfather. It's been nearly three and a half years since 36 veterans died after a COVID outbreak at the LaSalle Veterans Home. Another 200 others, including employees, got sick from the virus. He was the glue that held our family together, I think, in a sense. Lindsay Lamb lost her grandfather, Richard Seski. He was an Army veteran who served in Korea. She's one of the 32 families who filed a lawsuit two years ago against the LaSalle Veterans Home. We had confidence in them because they had gone so long without anything. These individuals relied on the safety and the care at that facility, and so did all of our loved ones. According to the lawsuits and a state inspector general report, staff were not following safety protocols such as wearing masks at all times, conducting regular temperature checks, or using effective hand sanitizer. And I just feel like it's time for the right thing to be done. After two years, the lawsuits will now move forward this summer in the Illinois State Court. Last month, a LaSalle County judge denied the state's request to move the cases to the Court of Claims. I strongly believe in, to, in the right to a trial by jury. Mike Bonamart is the attorney representing the families. He says claims court would have capped the damages the families could be awarded. Basic interventions, basic protocols that needed to be in place and they needed to have people in place to enforce them. And it had to be done vigorously and rigidly. And if it, when, when you don't do it, you see the, the catastrophic nature of the impact that it has. Lamb hoping those guidelines will be put in place and for the families to be one step closer to a sense of closure. So you never move on, but um, be able to start living our lives again, knowing that he can rest in peace now that everything's been resolved and hopefully the next generation of veterans that go in there um, are safe and, and they don't ever have to worry about this. Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. The first court date for the 32 lawsuits is June 11th. The trial date has not been set.